Movie season to date has been anything but hot. Still, that hasn't deterred Rambo First Blood Part Two from just about annihilating its competition. Its 26-day total is just shy of $85 million, and its $9.1 million weekend was good enough for first place again for the fourth week in a row. The Goonies stayed in second with a weekend total of $8.3 million. Fletch hung on to third with just over $5 million in ticket sales. A newcomer, Preetzi's Honor, had a strong first weekend, grossed $4.2 million and had the best per-screen average of the top five films. A View to a Kill grossed $3.4 million, enough of a box office killing to land in fifth place. Another new summer film that opened this past weekend didn't make the box office top five, but how well did it do on Leonard Maltin's scale of one to ten? Now, here's a great idea for a movie. A childless couple adopts a little boy, only he's not really a little boy. He's a highly sophisticated, computerized robot. Now, think of the possibilities. This could really be a cute movie. Just one problem. They've made the film already. It's called Daryl, and it didn't work. In this scene, the robot boy tries his luck on a friend's video game. Okay, there's the setup. But this film is all set up and no payoff. Every time there's a chance for some oomph, for a little bit of dramatic or emotional impact, they blow it. The word that keeps ringing in my head is bland. This is one of the blandest movies I've seen all year. No punch, no surprises, no juice, especially in the way it's directed, and a lot of syrupy music by Marvin Hamlish. This movie just oozes with sweetness and good intentions, but Judging from the results, Daryl does not compute. And it rates a three. I'm Leonard Malton, Entertainment Tonight. Our movie track survey of ticket buyers on both coasts, however, didn't compute with Leonard Malton. The survey gave the fantasy adventure film an overall grade of A-. 20% thought it was the very best. 41% loved it. 31% liked it. 7% were disappointed. And just 1% rated it a bomb. Despite the good response, Movie Track says a younger audience and a bigger one at that is needed to keep Daryl alive at the box office.